Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today, I kind of wanted to go into the new character customizer in Star Season Alpha 3.23. Very excited stuff. Some new stuff that I'm I'm really happy about. We finally have Wooly here, and uh, I'm super happy about that. I'm really loving the beards that they've added. Um, so what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna kind of go through uh the steps that you will take so either female or male uh that you would select from and one of the great things about this is the fact that uh you have the ability to save which is export and then import which is to load uh your saves so you can have multiple characters that you want to swap between uh, whether if you're doing some role playing or whatever you want to do really you can swap your characters so that is awesome all right, so um, yeah, so let's get into this. So one of the things uh, you can do is you can see these little icons here. It looks like you can adjust them. Oh, that is cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. It's a lot of adjustment, a lot of options to adjust. Let me see if I can. I think as you adjust, it's swapping between the different noses because it isn't smooth, fully smooth, but it's snapping. You can see it snapping a little bit. But they have enough options that it's kind of smooth. Okay. Very nice. So being able to do all this, all your so your cheeks can have really big cheeks. It really allows you to really sculpt your character to to look the way you want them to look like. That is awesome. Chin. This is so cool. Yeah, so tons and tons of options that you have here. So that's the sculpt section here. And you can swap between the different skin tones that you want. Um, lots and lots of options to go through here. Okay, so the one that I kind of like, I think I had it before. And when you do select that one, you can go in and further dial in the exact texture that you want as well. All right. I had it, I had it. Okay, guess I'm okay with that. Freckles, I'm not really seeing these freckles though. I'm not noticing any freckles here. Freckle opacity, so let me, let me make that 100% and then that's Oh, I'm seeing it. You guys see that? I'm gonna do it all the way at 100%. You can see the freckles here, yeah. Can I zoom in? Yeah, you can see the freckles here. Yeah, when I dial it back, so no freckles. Okay. I don't necessarily want freckles, so I'm gonna dial all the way back. Sunspots is also a thing. Yeah, you can see that right there. Pay attention to that little spot right there. Dial it out, yeah. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Lots and lots of details, so. Yeah, there you go. When you have the opacity all the way up. Okay. Yeah, so we don't need sunspots, so. All right, so for the eyes, you have some options. You can change the eye color, all right? So whatever color you want, okay? Whatever color you want. I want that dark brown.
There we go. All right. Uh, so that's the sculpt. So it says lock skin. What does that do? I guess it keeps it where you want it to be. Okay, so next is blend. So if you ever want to blend between certain characters, I guess you select them. So I guess I would. Oh. So whichever one you want, you can select. Oh, so you can even decide which area. So right now the mouth I'm blending and he blends the mouth. And the nose I'm blending, he blends the nose. The nose. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So what if I want to blend holistically? Okay, so yeah. So if you if you select from outside of the the head, it it blends the entire the entire thing. Okay, I kind of like a little bit of that. Yeah, that works for me. Interesting. Very nice. Let's see what else here. Okay, I think I'm good with that. So next will be the hair category here. So you can choose between bald. Okay, that's not bad. With the beard, bald is not bad with beard, man. Okay, yeah, I have tons of options here that you can go through. It's got a little mohawk here. It's not bad. It's not bad. Tons and tons of options. It's the one that I used to have before they added a new hairstyles. Uh, so this one I actually like too. I like the fade. It's nice. I might uh, swap between this. Sometimes this maybe. Sometimes this. Sometimes this. Digging it. I like it. All right, so next is going to be the beards. So right now you can go with no beard. Oh my gosh, my character looks so different with no beard. So different. So you have tons and tons of options, guys. I like this one. This one is not bad either. All right. Some more options here. So, so many options. So many options. Tons and tons of options. Tons of options here, okay. Holy cow, so this is the biggest beard you, you can get in the game right now. That's pretty big. Interesting. Can, I, think, I don't think I can go any further. All right, so let's go with the one that I like this one. So I'll go with that one. So uh, so that's facial hair. So next is eyebrows. You can swap between different eyebrows. I think I'm okay with this one. Um, and then you can choose the, 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 the hair colors here, right? So um, natural hair, you can decide the kind of hair you want. Really, you can, you can really dial in the hairstyle that you want. So that's pretty cool. I like it. All right, so I'm going to have the black hair here. And then variation. What is that? So variation. It has a hue. Has a it has a reddish hue to it, though. Okay. 
It changes the color a little bit when you do ver when you adjust the variation. Uh, tip dye color. Dye variation and tip dye color. Okay, there you go. So see that? So that's that's the uh oh you can make a character look a lot older by adjusting this actually. This is pretty cool. So dye amount. Dot is done, I don't need that. Um, but I kinda wanna get rid of this reddish hue. I want it to be a little bit darker. Let's zoom in a little bit. So, so I'm not sure. So let's see. Dye amount. Okay, so you can adjust the actual dye color here. Right? So this is how you change your hair colors. Right? And then you can adjust how much of it you want through this. Alright. Okay. see the variations oh so you can it can be a little bit mixed when you adjust the variation okay get this to the black there's also a dye gradient so let's let's get this in here Yeah, you could adjust the gradients of it too. Nice. All right. Very nice. Oh, you can also apply facial hair color. Let's see. Apply from facial hair. Oh, interesting. So it kind of matches your facial hair. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, variation. Dot that back. How do I undo that? Is there is there undo button? Oh, I love the undo button. Nice. So if you do make mistakes, undo is there. Reset is there. Redo is there. Randomize is also there. Randomize all is also there. So, um, nice, 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 nice. So I think, let's see, randomize all. <laughs> wow, that's that's a lot. <laughs> randomize. Oh my goodness. Okay, well let's 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 just do undo. <laughs> Yeah, so you have if you want to create some random char characters, you can do that. All right. Um, next style styling. So it's eyes. You can do I guess eyeshadows and things of that nature, um, which I'm not gonna do. But if you choose to use them, these options are there. They have lips as well. For those that want to have lipsticks on their character, cheeks. They also have those options as well. Yeah, they do. Okay. They have different ones. All right. Um, advanced. Okay, so you can you can have the uh, more advanced options here if you'd like to. Um, metallic finish. What does that mean? So. interesting yeah so you can you can create some really interesting characters really with all this all right so we're going with this guy turn off advance we're good with that all right um so at this point uh let's see review you can save it okay so i'm gonna save this guy I'm going to export this. Are you sure you wish to save this character as P1? Confirm. Yes, I want to overwrite that. 
So this will be my character. So if you want to save it as a different character, I guess it's you just type in the name here to, oh, I think you type it right here, P12. And then you can export and then it'll save as P12 as well. So this is how you can create your characters, guys. This is kind of what I wanted to uh, showcase, the new character customizer. It's awesome. I'm loving it. I'm loving the music. I'm sure you guys hear it um, as you go through this process. And uh, lots and lots of options. And they do intend to add more as we they further develop the project. And uh, this is exciting stuff, man. You guys let me know your thoughts of this down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care, guys.